Hey guys, what's going on? Joel here, and welcome to Back in the Day. Uh, today, we are going to be unboxing a game that uh, I never owned as a kid, never played as a kid, and certainly had no real interest in. Uh, it's going to be Godzilla, Monster of Monsters. Uh, how I actually procured this was a, uh, a very good friend of mine whom... I, I don't talk to you very often anymore, um, just because we, we live so far apart, um, but plus, I mean, he's, he's busy as kids, and, you know, I've been incredibly busy, but um, we met, he was one of my uh, one of my customers um, some years back when uh, I, I ran uh, my my uniform rental route down in, uh, down in Somerset, in Johnstown, and uh, his name's Jeff Miller, and we struck up a friendship and he he's been a very very good friend um and uh you know people like that i mean they they you know they they're, they're hard to come across uh you know really really good genuine people he he knew that i got into collecting video games uh nintendo uh, in particular and he uh he brought this into work the one day i was in i was making my delivery he's like hey he's like buddy i got something for you and i was like all right what and he's like hey i, I found this uh at my mom's house He's like, and I know you you collect, you're man. You, I want you to have this. I want you to have this. And I was like, dude, that is that is so cool. Thank you. Uh, and subsequently, he he did end up buying another Nintendo, and uh, the one I think was the Christmas of 2012. I bought him Tecmo Super Bowl because it was like his, his favorite game. But uh, yeah, um, this is a game that I, I will never get rid of simply because it was it was a gift, and it was it was a a, a very generous gift. Um, I mean, this was something from his childhood, and even though I had no no interest in this game at all, I, I have no connection to it. It was it was the thought behind it, and that it, it really meant a lot. So uh, not so much of a really back in the day moment, unless you want to you know I guess maybe go back a few years. Um, I honestly don't know much about this game. Uh, I did I played it for about. I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, maybe, after he, he, he gave it to me. Um, I suppose it's not without its charm. It really wasn't my... It wasn't anything that was memorable, uh, to, to say the least. But, uh, uh, I mean, just a really all-around good gift, though, I, I would say. It's not in the... <laughs> I, I, we always chuckle. It's not in the greatest of shape, uh, simply because he was one that just didn't really take care of his games. But, I mean, hey, uh, we weren't all as uh, as anal as I was about it, so... Let's kind of take a look. It's not in the worst shape. I mean, I've I've, I've definitely seen uh, games in, in in far worse shape than this. Um, it's got a nice big crease there on the top, and a nice crease right there. But all in all, all in all, not in the worst shape. And if I remember. Like, you can play as Godzilla, and then there are certain levels you can play as Mothra. Uh, even the whole Godzilla lore, I don't know much about. I was never one of those kids that was into Godzilla. I, I tried watching the movies when I was a kid, and uh, just wasn't about it. So, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy and see what we have. It's been forever and a day since I've, I've even opened this up to, to see what all is inside of it. I know that there's... Okay, so just the empty box. Here we have the uh, the cart itself. The cart's actually pretty good shape, to be honest with you. The instruction manual, yeah, not so much. Uh, I mean, not the worst shape, but certainly not the best. You know, and to be honest, this is the first game that I think I have seen where they don't thank you for purchasing the game, which is, is very odd in the story in 2 whatever x ad when the orbits of pluto and neptune exchange which pluto is no longer a planet thank you uh neil degrasse tyson uh pluto and neptune exchange their positions the earth receives a declaration of war from an unknown planet hmm use pause and save get started new game Last game. Oh, it has a password system on it, too. I might have glanced through this one time, but...
but uh, that was about it. Game screen, hex mode, ring field. Yeah, that was weird. Like, there's all these little hexagons in a field, and you have to kind of pick and choose which ones you want to go to and start from. It's very, very odd. It was, like, very detailed. Hmm. These are all apparently questions and answers, like, if you get stuck. Never a good idea, or a good thing, if, if you have to have a question and answer page. Battle mode. Hyper fight mode. Hmm. I mean, as I remember, it had a lot packed into it, but uh, just wasn't a great game. I guess, uh, you know, I apologize if this is a very boring unboxing, but, you know, I wanted to kind of do something a little uh, kind of off the beaten path for me. Um, this is, like I said, not one from my childhood, just one that a good buddy gave to me. And uh, beginning to question his friendship, though, for his horrible as uh condition this is in and how shitty the game actually is. Nah, I'm just kidding. As soon as I'm done with this, I have to yell at the dog because it sounds like he's eating his toys. So. Oh, and he wrote codes in it too. Somebody that actually used the memo piece for notes. So, yeah, guys, there you have it. Uh, Godzilla, Monster of Monsters for the uh, Nintendo. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. And uh, at some point, I want to probably get a vlog out. I know I, I feel bad I did not get any footage of my trip uh, down to Alabama. So um, probably going to do a little bit of a vlog, maybe to kind of explain like what happened and uh, whatnot. It, it was a great trip. We had some had some family emergencies while I was down there. So it was, it was kind of good that I, a good thing I was there. So. Uh, but, uh, hey guys, uh, it's a week until Thanksgiving, um, if you are here in the States and celebrate Thanksgiving. If not, um, celebrate whatever day you have overseas. But, uh, yeah guys, I don't know if I'll get another video out next week, but if I do, um, I guess I'll hit you with that one. But until then, uh, you guys take it easy.